going live. We're doing our podcast. So if I stop talking to you guys, I'm sorry. But just go ahead and share this with people, please. <clears throat> We're trying to get out there, you know. We're trying to. We got a YouTube channel called Let's Be Real Reviews. You can go on the hill over there and subscribe. But if you could do me a favor, just go ahead and follow Let's Be Real Reviews on Instagram. So, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the live, everybody. Welcome to Let's Be Real Reviews, episode six, where we are going to be ranking our top ten Star Wars films. Why do I have to finish this? <laughs> so uh, before and we then welcome to welcome to YouTube. Let's be real. Let's yeah. be real reviews, episode six. Matt, what's up, man? If like I said, guys, if you got, if you guys are watching on my Instagram right now, please go follow Let's Be Real Reviews on Instagram. Just trying to get as much engagement as possible. So I'm gonna just send this out to a few people now. Wow. Okay, that just Instagram just kicked me off. But um, yeah. So oh, that's a that's a big saber. <laughs> it's erect. No, Darth Maul saber here, sitting right sitting in between us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. So the very yeah. First saber I had when I was a kid, the little toy ones, the plastic that just go <coughs> do do do. Plastic. Yeah. Very first Darth Mauls. I used to do uh, all Darth Maul stuff in the living room. Hey, man, look, I don't mean to cut you off, but the most important part of the episode is happening right now. Can you turn the fan off, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so the most important part of the episode is happening now. What is that? The dad joke of the episode. I don't think that's important. So. I could do without it. Tyler's favorite Marvel movie is Justice League already? Come on. Already? His number one in the Star Wars list is Star of the Dark World. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want... Look, man, look, look. I, I, I felt so much pressure. But anyways, so, the dad... We didn't even... You didn't even guess the dad joke. So, what do oh. you... So, here's the dad joke. What do you call a pirate that's a droid? A pirate that's a droid. Yeah. Can you please guess? My mind is like blank right now. R two D two. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? Oh my gosh. Anyways. See my like my mind went blank. <laughs> my mind immediately went to C three PO and tried to do something with that. <laughs> oh man, C three PO. Oh, he he annoys me. He was a pilot on Star Tours. Not a very good pilot. He's not a good pilot. Nope. Always confused. Never know what's going on. He wasn't trained right. Who said? Who's that? <laughs> Somebody said no. <laughs> Who is that? Tim. Who? Tim. Tim? I don't know. Somebody. Yeah, tell the Hey, man, if you guys could just share this with everybody, please. That'd be great. You Actually. more people on here than I do. That's our Let's Be Real page. I don't that know is everybody. Right. I don't know everybody there. Oh, you don't? Oh. Huh. Hey, guys, look. I know you guys are watching me right now on mine. If you guys could go to the Let's Be Real Instagram, join that live. That would even, that, I would appreciate that even more. So I'm going to put that in the comment. Let's we'll put follow. Let's be real. But go ahead, Juan. I said that's Tim from DTS. That's what it said. Somebody put it in there. Zach put it in there. Oh, Tim from Destin. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. We got some people from Go Rentals in the building. Man, this is uh this is great. If y'all want to sponsor a video, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um Go Rentals, that's a <laughs> Oh my gosh, Pedo. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna follow Let's Be Real Reviews. But go ahead, man. So what are we doing today? Um, we're going to be ranking, we're going to be talking about our top 10 Star Wars movies. We're going to be ranking them, I guess. We're I guess. They're ranked already. We just have to say them. I guess they are ranked. They are. I'm trying to get Craig in here. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the people that. The top 10s. I'm trying to get the people that hate me the most on here. <laughs> <laughs> From last week. <laughs> two weeks ago, Danny, Danny and Craig. <laughs> they were roasting me. They were roasting me. you last week. <laughs> uh, not last week, two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. But no, before we get into this. Because we have time. We shoot about 45 minutes. Yeah. So, since we're going to be talking to s about Star Wars, what, um... I just came back from, from Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, you did. Studios. So, your thoughts on the final s episode of Obi-Wan. Oh, my God. The final episode was amazing. Spoilers if you haven't seen it. Tomatoes? Oh, come on. Oh, who puts tomatoes on? I can't have tomatoes. 
they, they probably said no tomatoes and they gave you extra tomatoes. I'm surprised they did, I'm surprised they even sliced it. <laughs> this is an outrage. But go ahead. Um I, this is my they want to know the dad jokes for me. Okay. All right, I got hey, I got dad jokes for days. Ready? What was the one that we Oh, you already told that one. Yeah. So, you want another dad joke? I don't, but they do. <laughs> All right, ready? So, um <laughs> What do you call when a droid takes I just think it's funny. What do, what do you call a droid that takes the long way home? A droid that takes the long way home? Yeah. Lay, I don't know. Lay it on me. <laughs> R2 Detour. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> R2 Detour. It's a Darth, Darth Vader, Vader needs his own, needs his own series. The whole, the whole. Oh yes, he does. All nine movies is his own series. All nine. Get out of here. <laughs> no. Um. The the last episode was good. I liked the. Um. I guess the battle between Obi Wan and Darth Vader that was really good, and he was like, he goes, um, what have you become? It's like I I. Become what you made me. He says it to Obi Wan, and he says it's not your fault. Yes, I became what you made me. And then he tells him it's not your fault, Obi Wan. The end. Yep. That was. I thought that was good. That was one of the most iconic, like, lines you could possibly say to somebody. It's not your fault, even though he's literally the reason why he. I am what you made me. And a respirator. Yeah. What did you think about it? I agree one hundred percent. Yeah, but this whopper is pretty good. Yeah, it smells good. I just they put tomato on it and ruined it. Now I gotta dissect it like Gordon Ramsay does. <laughs> Watered down Diet Coke. What do they think they are? Instead of who do they think they are? What do they think they are? Yeah, yeah. This is Burger King. You can't have it your way if you can't get if you cannot get tomatoes on it. No. Oh. It goes against their whole slogan. It might as well be McDonald's. Yeah, have it your way. Hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. Unless my wife just tried to get me to have an upset stomach. Probably. Hmm. Wives. <laughs> um, I thought the whole series overall was good. I enjoyed Reva. Um, I hated episode, was it four? I didn't yeah. like I didn't like episode four when he was like trying to hold back the ocean from yeah. coming in the window. Yeah, that episode. I don't know. It's like it wasn't bad, but it. And five was five was okay. Five five definitely redeemed itself for four, and then six was just great. I like the one where they were traveling. Which one? With him and Leo. The first one, the second one. I think so. That's and, uh, the second episode. Yeah. Oh, we got some people joining in. Oh, look at that. We got five people here. I'll wave to them. I'm going to wave you. Who are those people? They are viewers of ours. Well, we appreciate those viewers. They took, that straight, they took that scene straight from the video game. Yep. Talking about the um, talking about the Force I Unleashed. Invited, I invited my Star Wars nerds. Oh, no! Here we, go. <laughs> here we go. The worst possible thing to do. Now they're going to correct everything I say wrong. <laughs> Definitely, I will. Look, man, it's my list. It's my list. It's your list. So it's your list of Jericho. Oh, here's Danny. Oh, she's oh. gonna flame me. So, Danny, if you didn't know, we are uh, discussing our top ten favorite Star Wars films, and we we have a list. Both of us have a list. Ten. Top ten. Top we have ten. a list. There's twenty movies in total. And we and we know how this went last time. Everybody destroyed me in the comments section. Yep. People that I love <laughs> destroyed me. So, besides our list, what um, what show are you looking forward to that's coming out? Um, I'm interested in what they're gonna do in She Hulk. Judging by the trailers, I'm not really... And She-Hulk? Yeah, She-Hulk. It's a show. You asked me about a show. I meant... I should have said Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. Oh, Star Wars related? I'm really looking forward to the Ahsoka show. 
Yes. I love Ahsoka. They have another one, right? Andor? There's Andor, and there's Ahsoka. Mandalorian Season 2? Three. Three, I mean. Jeez, don't correct me. Please don't cancel me. The Book of Boba Fett was basically Season 3 of I, Mandalorian. A lot of people said they didn't. I don't know. There's some... It's weird. You say you never follow, like, run into these people, but there's people that don't like that show. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Why Why do you think that is? Because, okay, so here you go. Boba Fett showed up for, like, five seconds in Empire Strikes Back, right? There you go, Ahsoka. Ahsoka's the best. Snips. Ahsoka is awesome. She was, like, one of the best parts of Mando. Yeah. She was the only thing that kept me watching the Clone Wars. That and also like all the beheadings that they had. There's a lot of beheadings in that show. And w- what is it with you? If it's not about beheading somebody, you're it's about you're slaying children or slaying younglings. <laughs> you're not about it. Don't don't let him fool you. He's a nice guy, but he's really evil. <laughs> the book of Boba Fett was poorly written. I mean, so here, so I, I can I, like, I can see so why somebody would say it was poorly written because right, so it did take a long time. Every episode was slow. It was slow. I bet it means tattooing. It's sand. Sand moves slow. Tattooing? Um, <laughs> he shows up for like five seconds in in the in the Empire Strikes Back. He's got the coolest armor out of any out of all the bounty hunters. He does. And then Vader has to tell him to keep him al- keeps Solo alive. He transports him or whatever. And then he die. He goes into the into the butthole in the sand in the Return of the Jedi. The and he dies. The but I, I did. I like the opening scene of that show when he busting out of the the Sarlacc pit. That yes. was really cool. That was cool. And how like his suit like kept him alive from the acid in the Sarlacc pit. That was really cool. That is true. Yeah. Saw another element of. Oh my gosh, Andrew's here. Hey, do you when you when you join the live? Do you see a title? Because if you do, I'm not going to explain what we're doing. <laughs> but I'll just explain anyway since you're not responding right away. They did try to copy Mando. I do agree. They did. They did. That's why he was in it. I did like this. I did like seeing that fight when Mando uh, going against the other Mandalorians. Yes. When he was trying to wield the black saber, the dark saber, I'm sorry. He doesn't know how to do it and he cuts himself. Yes. That, that'd be me. If sabers are real, I'd, I'd lose an arm instantly. Oh, so there's no title. Instagram's. Instagram sucks. Okay. So we're, we're ranking. We're going to be talking and ranking our top 10 Star Wars films when there's only 11. I didn't put a title on there. Let's when there's only there. 11. So. There's 11. And all. And. and uh, yeah. <laughs> so. It's, so it's, it's Star Wars needs to step it up. So if you want to start. I started last time. So you have to go first this time. Let's just leave it up to the people. They're going to choose me again. Who who do you want to go first? Because Juan had the better list. I had the better list last time. Marvel. You know what? You should go first. I don't even think I need to say what I have to. You didn't see a title. I didn't put a title on here. Yeah. Oh, well. So, you want me to go first? Yeah. With this list? You start. Number 10. Tyler's number 10. started slow then they tried to save it they come back from the original so people just wanted to see the deadly bounty hunter in the galaxy yeah yeah boba fett was better pr- and probably in the comics than he was in anything else because he was more alive p- in the comics than he probably was in anything else all right so but i, I like i pff, freaking hate that cad bane died in that show man i was so pissed off he was so dope he, oh man, if you've seen him, if you would have seen him in in in, uh, in Clone Wars and and Rebels. Oh yeah, he was cool. Freaking. Are you ready for this? This is number ten. All right. I saw something on there. I saw some words on the paper. Yeah, obviously, because I wrote them down on here. <laughs> You're gonna be surprised. Number ten. I thought he did die. I thought he did die in the show. Anyway, Uh-oh. Felt, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I fell asleep. Uh-oh. Oh, you, oh, the truth comes out. I fell asleep. He fell asleep. Oh, my goodness. You try watching after dinner by 4 a.m. 
I don't have to get it beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing here is number ten. All right, here here's number ten. Um, do me a favor. Nope. If y'all want me to say this number ten, I'm gonna need y'all to just you know, um, I need y'all to. Oh wow, somebody just liked it before I said like it. Okay. Share this with everybody, please. Send it to everybody in your friends list. But what's, look, what's your number ten? One's on my watch. You're gonna be surprised. That, I, th- that th- gonna, you're, I think you'd be surprised about mine. You're gonna be surprised that this is on my list. Ready? Yep. Number ten. Mm-hmm. The Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I am really surprised. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> you right? Why? I mean, why are you surprised? Why are you surprised? How much you trash that movie? How much I hate that movie? Right. Yeah, it was. There's just two movies that are not. <laughs> better than that one <laughs> and we'll find out which one those are <laughs> but the last jedi is my number 10 on this list and Jeez. zero out of five stars you want to see what it is out of five yeah it is a half a star and it's on number 10 it's a half you? a star it's half a star yeah it's half a star then why is it on the list what is it about it that made the list bro there's 11 movies i can't it's not like <laughs> you could have left i left one out you could have left one out. I, I couldn't leave this one out. I'm sorry. Okay. What about it? Is it half a star? No. What about it made it on the list? That's number 10. <sighs> and what about it gave you half a star? And Tyler is done already? What? said something is number 13. <laughs> no, what did Matt say? <laughs> Read and Tyler what? is done already. No, yep. Somebody what said what? Said? And somebody said Tyler is done already. <laughs> yep. The Last Jedi is. This is not Return of the Jedi, people. It's The Last Jedi. You know the the worst one, yeah. The one where they worse than rise. Well, no, it's not worse than rise. I mean, it, it no. Yes, it's worse than rise. Yes. Freaking yes. No. No. It's no there's no way. Rise. No. It's there's no way that this the, it has to be worse than rise. No. Yes. No. I freak. I almost cussed on this. Rise. I hate this movie. No, Rise of Skywalker like, is is so bad. The plot in this so, movie. She what? pulls out a knife and finds a Death Star. What is the point of setting these animals free in the Last Jedi? Like. Oh, yeah, we're here to get something very valuable that we need. Let, let's go steal this thing. Oh, my gosh, I love these animals so much. I have to stop what we're doing to go set these animals free. Like, what was that? What was that? Did the writers just need to say, man, there's so much animal cruelty going on in this world. We got to show these people that we love animals and we're willing to set them free. Like, what was the point of that? Can you please explain that? I don't know. That's why it was worse than Rise. Like, I just... <sighs> no. Thank you, Andrew. I agree. I, I I respect what you're saying. Andrew said Rise of Skywalker is absolutely worse than The Last Jedi, but I understand the hatred. Yeah. So yes, half a star. <laughs> Continue, please. My number ten. Your number ten. The Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> what? I. That was. <laughs> That's your. No- what? I'm totally surprised. <laughs> That's why I was like, "What?" <laughs> so why? <laughs> why? Why is that on your list? Worse than Leia flying. <laughs> oh. oh God. Wait, Leia flew in. Uh, she flew in. Uh, Rise j- the last in, Jedi. In the Jedi. Yeah, she flew in the last Jedi. Yeah. She, Which she had a heart attack in uh, Rise. No, the reason it's on my list is because it like it ends Luke's chapter. It ends Luke's. Yes. It ends Luke. Just leave it at that. Okay, that is why I like the movie. <laughs> exactly, you read it. I was just about to say it. Leia Poppins. <laughs> no, but that fight scene with Kylo and Luke, where he's force projecting. Yeah. That is why it's on this list. Yeah, that's that's literally why. That is why it's on the list. Like, that's why it's. It's still worse than Rise, though. That's it. Oh, still yeah. worse than Rise. No, we need, we but go ahead. I, like, I don't like Rise. Um, even though I saw <laughs> Rise of Skywalker in the theater twice because I just couldn't believe it. But um, <laughs> That's how bad it was? You had to see it twice? Yeah. Um, but no, I, I don't know. I don't know how many stars I can give this. Half a star. A star. <laughs> One. One star. The only, If Luke wasn't in it, I mean, it wouldn't even be a Star Wars movie. And Yoda, puppet Yoda showing up, that was good. I like that. Yes. And then you know he's crying about the 
the dumb books over there. He didn't, he didn't even bother to read. He's been on that planet for I don't know how long. Yeah, I just feel like that movie was really emo. It reminded me of hearing, Hey there, Delilah, what's it? Like, you hear the first note of, of uh, Welcome to the Black Parade. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. And you like, instantly start crying. It was very emo. Yeah. Like, Kylo Ren was super emotional. Him and, uh, Le- not Leia, him and Ray started communicating through, like, the Force. They could, like, feel each other. That was in Rise. No, it wasn't. Last Jedi. That was in Last Jedi? Yeah. They were both in, like, their own rooms, whatever. Oh, uh, and like, he was shirtless? Yeah. He she had his he, pants, those nipples? She could feel, like, his pain almost, it yeah. seemed like. And I, I don't know if that's, what ha- that could just be a theory, but look. It, yeah. Half a star. Oh, well. Number nine? Blue milk. Yeah. Number nine? Number oh, nine. bro, the blue milk is amazing. I've never tried it. It costs eight credits. Star Wars Land. No way. Yeah. Uh-uh. It's worth it, though. I can use those eight credits to buy another saber. Eight credits is eight dollars, bro. No, I know that. <laughs> you can't buy. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll, if I use those eight credits to buy that milk, I'll be eight credits down. short to buy a saber. All right, so number nine. You ready for this? Number nine is The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. That's nasty. Half a star. I don't need to say anything. Zero stars for me. I don't say anything. It was it, it was better than it was better than a well to be honest, for me nine and ten on my list, it doesn't matter who's number nine and who's number ten. Same feeling for it doesn't but it still made it on here because it was better than the last the movie that I don't have on here. In my opinion. So you can go ahead. Number nine. Now I'm scared. Why? I'm scared to say my number nine. Why? Oh, guys, he's so scared. Please make him happy. My number nine is Return oh. of the Jedi. Out of, it is the weakest out of the original trilogy, in my opinion. Oh, you're when, lucky Savannah's not here. When when one of your <laughs> main characters it. doesn't even want to be in the movie, what does that tell you? But th- th- that's personal issue. That has nothing to do Harrison with that. Harrison Ford wanted to die. Andrew said, what? Yeah. No. Number nine, it's the weakest out of the... I did the original trilogy in my opinion. I still watch it. Oh, but, oh, but I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> by the, the way, j- just so we're clear here, I will, I will happily watch every single Star Wars. Oh yeah, but I will heavily cr- <laughs> always critique <laughs> the Last Jedi and Rise the same way. There's so much hatred. So go ahead. No, yeah, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi is your number nine. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even like it when I was a kid. It's like, oh, it's geared, it's geared towards kids because of the Ewoks. No, I didn't want to see that. I yeah, that's when they. Vader I think that's when they fight. tried to like get the kids involved and like kind of like the franchise. Yeah. His reaction. I want to see Luke and Vader fight. I wanted to see more of Yoda and Luke. Two words. But blue milk. For yeah. shame! Look at that. It is. It's, it's, it is the weakest. Go and watch it. Compare it to New Hope and Empire. No. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You it's, can't. It's the weakest, man. It is the weakest link. So, number eight. What, what's your thoughts on it? On Return of the Jedi. Oh, my star? My star rating out of that? Three and a half stars. No, I I, 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 I agree. It's, it, is the, it is the weakest out of the three. But, I mean, it's not the worst either. No. I, I'm just surprised you got it so, so high. So, so That's how so I was scared high. to say it. Dang. Man, I told you, what your lips just sounded like mine was two weeks ago. You're going to hate me this week. All right, so my my rating on that one would be three stars. Yeah. So <clears throat> number eight, A New Hope. Okay. A New Hope. The whole number nine thing just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Father and son unite. Uh, I mean, that. yeah, that was cool. See Invader with his helmet off, and so no, you, to have to go from no eyebrows to eyebrows after <laughs> Luke fixed after <laughs> Luke has fixed it, <laughs> bro. He like he <laughs> no eyebrows. Oh my gosh! But no, go ahead uh, about about a new hope. I want to hear your I want to hear your thoughts on the new hope. I like a new hope. And what what is your? It's like it's like one of the OG like. Well, it's part of the original three. Yeah. I mean, you get to learn about the world, right? The world building. It's a, you get to, you know, you're introduced to. It's a, It takes time in the movie, though. But it's good. 
Uh-huh. I mean, um, choreography was not kind of good, but I no, mean, the whole like the end. It was the was the first one, right? Second one. The New Hope. Was yeah. The first one. First one. Yeah. So I mean, it's obviously not going to be as good as the second one. Well, I mean, it was better than what you know anticipated. The editing on that movie saved it. Yes. Saved for it. the the editing for that time. No, the editing of the movie. They edit the way they edited the movie, and put it together. It wasn't how it was shot. It wasn't how it was like. A lot of editing went into. Foretold on the storyboard, like they, they, yeah. But I mean, like for me though, it there's there's I don't I like the movie. I do. For me, it kicked off the love of Star Wars. Yeah, there's not a lot. There's not a lot. I don't really dislike the movie. No. I just it's just at number eight for me because the thing the things I dislike about the movie are the things that. Lucas went in afterwards and added it. Yeah. Like when they're going to most Eisley and they add all those freaking animal asses in front of the camera and you can't see Luke yeah. and Obi-Wan talking to the stone trooper. No, 100%. But there's not a lot to dislike about the movie. I put it at number eight because, like you said, it starts your love for uh, Star Wars. It uh, kicks off the whole... Like, nobody, nobody thought that it would be this big. Yeah, and um, Han Solo shot first. Yeah. Yeah. So I give it. I give a new hope. Um, we already ranked it or no? We did. No, um, we ranked your number eight. The star rating yeah. on that. On a new hope, I give it a three and a half. I think I gave it the same. So go ahead. What's your number eight? I gotta keep going back through these freaking things because it keeps closing. Young Luke meeting his destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yes, I feel like I should have put this movie a little higher. I probably should have swapped eight and nine on <laughs> oh this one. Oh my gosh, dude, do you sound like me two weeks ago? I oh my god, I should have swapped eight and nine on this one. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no, swapsies. Uh, can I swap it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Did you write this? Did you write this list like thirty minutes before you came here? No, I did write it fast, but I didn't think about placement on these last on the eight like, and nine. Okay, well, go ahead. So, so I mean, you could. If, I think if, I wanted eight. So do you, so. How I did it was ten and nine, interchange. No matter what ranking, they're still. I feel the same way about them. Is that how it is for you with nine and eight? Yeah. Okay. I feel so like eight is a little worse than. I should well, put it higher. Just ex- just say that before you. Uh, all right. Well. I, all right. So I wrote this list kind of quick, towards the end, um, but I feel like eight definitely needs to be higher than nine for what I said. Okay, so uh, what's so, your number eight? So my number, so all right, solo. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I feel like see that's why it's I said it should high. Be on number nine. Oh, number nine? Yeah, solo. Oh Han, man, I didn't think it was that bad. On solo movie. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It wasn't great. No. But it wasn't terrible. Not. No. I thought solo was good. I mean. I just wish it was. You know, like the OG. I just wish it was better. I just don't like. How <laughs> I he just got wish it was. Better. I just don't like how he got his name. You're by yourself, so your name is gonna be Solo. Yeah, that that's a little. That's that's not like creative at all. No, that's that's very lame. I I did like how Darth Maul showed up at the end, though. You know me, I love me some Maul. Oh, bro, Darth Maul. That's why I got his little pop back there. Yeah, that's why I got his saber right here. Right in the middle. I just got it from Galaxy's Edge. Oh yes, I had to buy two of these things. Bro, why don't you wave that thing? Oh, I put I put children here. I put the the longest blades that they sell on the end of these things, freaking nine feet long. So you could just slay all the younglings. I would have sliced myself. I don't know how Maul didn't slice himself in half, and Obi Wan had to do it for him. <laughs> Andrew said, "I loved Solo, except for Solo himself." Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Right, I mean the action scenes in the movie were were pretty decent. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit like some scenes like there's a scene that where they're in the snow. It reminded me a little bit of uh, Winter uh, Winter Soldier when they did that flashback. Yeah, and you see Bucky falling from the train. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Was it Winter Soldier or first first Avengers? So what's your rating? On Solo. Two and a half sagers out of five. <laughs> I like that. That's a good idea. So, my, 
my number seven, it's gonna be easy. It's solo. <laughs> so we can just it's solo. It is. So what's your rating? Uh, three. Three. So we can skip right over. What's your number uh, seven? No, you gotta go seven. I just did. Oh, that's right. You're a little nervous about your list. My number seven is Attack of the Clones. What? <laughs> that's so that. Why so low? Like, I mean, so high on the, on the bad scale. It's not. I mean, it's not. That's bad. like towards. These that, are our top ten. That's closer to ten. But the closer you are to ten, the the worse it's it lot, is. It's a lot closer to five than it is to ten. It's a lot closer to five than it is to ten. I don't know, bro. Ah, Andrew said that's fair. I don't. I don't that know, man. It's a lot closer to ten, five than it is to ten. Nah, man. I it's, that it's movie. Hop, that movie was great. That movie is great. <sighs> Seven. I mean, there's. I mean, all right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Obi, I'm Obi Wan. Listen to me, Luke. What the hell? Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Skywalkers. Anakin and Padme's love affair was kind of. It felt forced. It felt uncomfortable. Gotta you know, love. He hey. aged twenty years and she stayed the same. I love me some Padme. I love Padme. Padme sounds like a nice. Now let me get that Padme chicken. Sounds like a dish. Right. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry. No, I don't know. Like they're, they're, you said, the love affair felt forced. It did. It, it felt kind of forced. It felt kind of weird. You know what I mean? What scene exactly? The when they're <coughs> when they're on the boo. What are they saying? We're just, uh, we're just, we're gonna stop the list really quick. Oh, the camera stopped recording. You're gonna get it back on. You're good. You can just let that roll. It should tell you. Thirty-two minutes and twenty-one seconds. Yeah, oh, yeah, my gosh. So, welcome back. Woo. Juan had to go pee-pee. I almost fell. You had to go pee-pee. I didn't have to go pee-pee. <laughs> I, I, already, I went before I... So, Andrew just said, if it wasn't for the triple battle at the end of Phantom Menace, I would have put Attack of the Clones above a Phantom Menace. Definitely. The triple battle and Duel of Fates. That's yeah. for... I listen to oh, that. Oh, that music? Oh, I my God. I listen to that on the way to work sometimes. Why are you about to go... <laughs> Why are you about to go slay some bread? Slay some, yeah. Slay these customers that come and piss me off. So? So, Attack of the Clones, right? I mean... Love Affair. Yeah, that, and then... um, Just how, like... I don't know. Like, he went and he killed all the, all the sand people. And then she was like, oh, I love you. Right after that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love you. Yeah. And then, I don't know, the fight, the, f the scene at the end with, was not yeah, towards the end when the clones actually attack. It was pretty good. Yes. Seeing Django, Django Fett get his head cut off. And Boba Fett picking up the helmet. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Oh, and then seeing all the clones on Kamino. What's up, Frank? So, Frank, just want to explain to you... Uh, um, all right, Andrew. See you later, bro. Andrew, Andrew, uh, Frank. So what we're doing is we're discussing our top ten favorite Star Wars movies, and we are number six, se seven right now. Yes, seven. seven right now. So, but um, but go ahead. Um, where's my video going? Um, this needs to have some good traction. What was I saying? What was I saying? You were talking oh, about how at uh, the end, <clears throat> seeing um seeing all the clones in Camino. Yes, that was cool. And then you get to see um Boba Fett's ship. I mean, Jango Fett's ship. Yep, that becomes Boba. Seeing Boba. All the, seeing all the clones. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. That was cool. That was a, I I I enjoyed the part like you said when Boba Fett picks up the helmet, helmet of, of Jango. Father. So, cool. which is really himself. Just weird, right? <laughs> Um, what else? 
See, and that's probably that's Anakin's best saber, in my opinion. And in my opinion, episode two, Anakin had the best saber. He even continued because that that he takes that saber right, that he takes that design and yeah. uses it when he's Darth Vader. Yes. So in my opinion, that's his best lightsaber design. Now over here, I have the Young Slayer three thousand. <laughs> Right, I have the Slayer three thousand. I have the Young Slayer three thousand over here, but this isn't his best saber design. No, it's not. Hit from Episode two. That's his best saber design. I agree. I'm 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 I nerd out about sabers. I I love sabers. I have I have eight of them at home. I'm not there yet, but I will be there. Two of them are Ahsoka. Yeah, you have two Ahsoka ones. Well, she's a, she dual wields. She does. So, what do you rate Attack of the Clones? Um, three and a half. Three and a half sabers out of Tusken Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> um, three and a half as well on Attack of the Clones. Well, no, I'm not three and a half. Were you higher? Yes. It was about four? Yeah. Between like a three eight and a four. Hmm. My number six. Ready for this? I think this is when the list gets bad. For you? Yeah. Mine gets better from here. <laughs> the Force Awakens. Ooh. Mm. It was a str- it started off strong. It was a good film. It was good. It was good. Kylo Ren was at his best in that film though, man. He was prime Ren. Prime Ren, yep. Prime <laughs> Medium Rare, please. <laughs> he was medium Ren. He killed his father. That's his father. And the way it was lit up, he had blue oh, on one blue side. Blue on one side and red on the red other. On the oh other. my gosh. Yes. That was so cool. But I'm just saying, like, it was started off strong in your face. Like solid. Really, really crazy. I Ray had potential and then they ruined it. You know, can we not talk about that? You don't like Ray? <sighs> they ruined it with Last Jedi. They ruined it. Yeah, they ruined her. And how she had she had no were. formal training of the Force. And whose she almost fault, Whose fault is that? And she almost kills Kylo Ren. That's No, that's Bla- that's a no-no. Blame them for getting rid of JJ Abrams when he was in <laughs> Abrams. Abrams. But yeah. Force I I put it as number 6 because it started so strong. Like it, it just For and first of all, that was like the first of the new trilogy. That was like the first Star Wars movie we've seen in years in forever. Yeah. Was it 2006, five? Was the last one? Yeah, yeah, bro. That's uh, it's a long time. So, so I will say it, it's, it's like right in your face, boom, from the start, it was good. Yeah. But obviously, there's things that they could have done better, like formal training with Ray. Um, but I just feel like it. They did a good job with keeping you, um, keeping your attention on the screen. Like when Kylo Ren would pop on the screen. Yeah, he was so captivating. You could not take your eyes off him. He was like Vader. I will always say that he was more captivating than Vader. Yep. When he would pop with the mask, he popped up on the screen with the mask. You couldn't take your eyes off him. It was ridiculous. It was amazing. Va- he was. No. He was awesome. And then the whole setup with Snoke. They made Snoke in that movie sound like such an amazing person, like super strong. And then they messed it up in Last Jedi. Right. So. And they messed it up in Rise. They did, but so without then, knowing, so I put as number six as without knowing what came after it. Like okay. if, if what happened after did not happen, this would be number six. And I was like, I could not put it any lower, like any closer to 10. So I give this movie three and a half. What's your number six? The Force Awakens. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> When I said Force Awakens, you said, hmm. Mm. Like, like it was a bad thing. I forgot what my list was. I forgot what number six was. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? What's up, man? What's going on? Yeah, bro. Why'd you look at me like that? I said Force because Awakens. I forgot. You said, hmm. You didn't see me smile when I looked at my wife. You said, hmm. Like it was a bad this. thing. Like you were like, you're like, hmm. Mm. This guy. This guy. This guy should have a Star Wars card taken from him. Over here. Agreeing about the same movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is like the second one we've had. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm and really then su- also, when we did our Marvel, our number sixes were number the same. Our number the same? 
Yeah. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I need to call you. I will message me on Instagram, bro. Just message me and I'll get I'll get a hold of you that way. Um but yeah. Um hope everything's okay. First of all, <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope everything's all hope right. everything's all right, bro. Just just message me, please, because I'll be off in a I'll be off soon. So just message me and I can uh, talk oh, to you. Damn, then. it's forty minutes already. Yeah, bro. I got so much to say. Time flies when you're talking about Star Wars. Not like Meow. not like uh, Leia. Oh man. Go ahead. Yeah, so the Force Awakens, man. They built up her who her parents were gonna be so big, and, and there were nobodies. Out, there were just no there were just nobodies. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and then the battle, the, like I love, she was like digging through the the wreckage of the battle. And, and Finn, bro. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Finn defecting. <laughs> Isn't that his helmet? Oh, it doesn't have the blood streaks on it, but I mean, basically, it's that. It's the first order stormtrooper. It is the first first order stormtrooper. But I wish I can get if I would, if I can find the helmet with the blood streaks on it, I would get it. Just make it. I don't want to make it. I want to buy it. I could make it. It's probably not that hard. Uh, the Force Order is taking over this podcast. Did you turn on the, the voice thing? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. You are no Jedi. <laughs> Traitor! Traitor! Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. But, yeah, that is the... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm going to drop your dice. <laughs> Finn defecting is one of the coolest scenes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. it is. And then, yeah. Is Zach still live on there? Because if Zach is live, he needs to... Uh... He's not on there. Oh, what a, what a... No, ain't nobody over here, man. It says live. It says I'm, that people join. I'm by myself. Yeah, oh, those, are all the, those are all the messages my... that they have. But look, there's no eyes up here. But, oh, him defecting was cool, too, but I love his humor. Got a boyfriend? Got a cute boyfriend? Yeah. He's like, and then he says, I'm from the. He's first like, oh, we gotta go to Jakku. He's Nobody wanna go back to Jakku. He's like, I'm a big, I'm a big time guy. I'm a big in deal. The resistance. He's like, I'm a big guy. Yes, in the, the resistance. resistance. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then yep. Han Solo's like, women always figure out the truth, somehow, some way, one way they always figure it out. <laughs> Zach, did you see the stormtrooper helmet? But yeah, I mean, so there's a lot to like about Force Awakens. Yeah. It is. I, I like, mean, I liked it. It get me. It got me pumped for the next it's, one. It's and my. Then it's then it's Erica's favorite movie. My leg just. It's her off. favorite Star Wars movie. And all the, on, and also for fans that are new. I thought that was a good yeah, movie to have. Star, yeah, she, they have somebody to look up to. Two people. Yeah, Ray I just Finn. feel bad for my son. Poe, I like Poe. Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron. He's awesome. Cole Dameron. But um, I feel bad for my son though when he goes. Up. <clears throat> well, no, he'll have, he'll have the, he'll have, everything will be said and done. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll have whatever Star Wars movie that they're making. His father of. will point him in the right direction. He'll have whatever Star Wars movies are coming out at the time when he's around, like, eight, no, nine, no. whatever. He'll still have the originals. No, but I mean in the theaters. Well, As if they decide to make new ones. Oh, they're gonna at the rate they're going, they're just going to make one show a freaking year. No, they're going to, they're talking about making another trilogy. That would be great with J.J. Abrams. Any hopefully, f- hopefully. Cause they they just messed everybody up. Anyone they get Steven Spielberg to do it. He was on. He was he freaking co-directed all of them, all the original. original six, basically. Your your rating on what? Force Awakens. Oh, three and a half stars. All right, all righty then. Are we going to number five? Yeah, we're going to number five. I swear, if this is the same movie, I doubt it. Number five. Empire Strikes Back. Yep. <laughs> it's the same. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> no, ma'am. It's not the same. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's been so long since I've seen this movie, but I just I remember loving it so much that it has to be number five. That's literally why I put it at number five. But I want to hear your <laughs> – Frank said, oh, gosh. I didn't know Frank – Frank, I didn't know you were, like, really into Star Wars like that, bro. Is that Frankie? Yeah, Frankie. Is that Tito? Tony? Tony. No. And Halito. Hey, which ladrone are you? <laughs> and Halito, Latro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, bro, by the way, I hope you're feeling better, man. I oh, hope yeah. you're feeling good. Yes. But what are your thoughts on Strike Backs? Strike Backs? <laughs> <laughs> Imperial uh, it's the, Empire Strike Backs. It's back. the, the best sequel ever made to any movie ever. Yes. He said ladrones are dead. <laughs> hey, man, you never know. One went to college and then one went to wrestling school. 
Hey, what if we can get resurrected? You never know. Hey, bro, look. Hey, you're looking at the two owners. OFW. So. That's another day. The licensing hasn't gone out yet. Uh, <laughs> nope. Mm, it's always there. It's still on. TM. TM. It's always on. Um, Silas is still here. No, it's. I think it's one of the greatest sequels ever made. It is. The big reveal at the end, which has been spoiled, you know. I uh, am your father. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's. No, I am your father. That's the correct line. There's, he I, doesn't say I know. I know. anywhere. He says, I am your father. You know, when they were filming that movie, they said um, the line that the guy playing Darth Vader told Mark Hamill. He's not going to say Luke. He No, he said, he didn't say, I am your father. They dubbed that over with... Um, What's his face? Mm-hmm. Um, James Earl Jones. He what he said there? He said no. Obi Wan killed your father. That's the line in the script that everybody had. What? That was the line. But how true is that though? Obi Wan killed Anakin, right? Basically, which is Luke's father. And be- Anakin became Darth Vader. I mean, how true is that? That's the line that was in the script. But that that's was not said. what we get in the film. No, it no, it nobody knew until the movie released because they had dubbed it over with James Earl Jones. The script that they gave James Earl Jones said, "No, I am your father." But the script that they gave everybody else said, yes. "No, Obi Wan killed your father." Can oh, you, bro, could you imagine just if that was the dude, line that they used? Because you would have, you could have twisted that so many oh. other ways to find out that Darth Vader is really his father. Like, right? Damn it! That's awesome. I'm a line. little mad right now. That's an awesome line. Can I'm taking it off the list. Because, like, it's off the list. He tells him about his father, right? And, and New Hope. Obi Wan killed you. Bro, that would have hit so Dude. much harder than I am your father. <sighs> Empire Strikes Back, though. I give that a four. Now we're, we're, now we're getting into the. That's for me. That's a four and a half. That's. I got. Four sabers for me, please. <laughs> so, so, what's number, your number five? My number five. I swear, if it's the same thing, I'm gonna. It's not. It is not. My number five is a new hope. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was my number eight. Are you better with that? <laughs> Am I what? Is that better? <laughs> yeah. That, no, that is better for you. Yes, you redeemed your list. Awesome. Yeah. So we've already talked about it once. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie, man. I rate that. I mean, like I said, it was a three and a half for me. Yeah. That's the first one. Makes you think about everything. That song when he's looking at the two sons, that's that's amazing. When it, tears to your to your eyes every the time. The two sons? Yeah, the, the Tatooine has two sons. Sons. Oh. sons. Yeah. The music for Star Wars it's though, called, I, I would say it's, it's called Binary Sunset. It's one of the best ones. Dope, yeah. I can I I literally will drive if I'm taking a long drive somewhere, I will put put on Duel of the Fates, man. Yeah, I will just put on by each movie. Like, I'll just put on the score, and it'll just play through it. Bro, it is the most intense <laughs> thinking I've ever done as a, dri- as a dri- as driving. Play that. Next time you drive to Orlando. Next time we drive to Orlando. It's just Star Wars. We're d- on Star Wars Day next year. We're just going to listen to the scores on from every movie. We're just going to watch. We're just going to listen to them. I'm okay with that. We're not even going to watch the movie. We're going to literally just listen. No. My brain died. <laughs> Windows Defender. Virus detects. Virus and threats have not been detected. Vetus. Do your job. All right. So we're going to skip through that one. What? Number five? No, what you just did. A New Hope? Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Because we mean, did go into detail about it on mine. I don't, I don't remember my stars. Editor, put it on. You said. I'm the editor. I think you said. No, you didn't. Re- I don't think you. You just. I think you said three and a half. Yeah. Okay. So my number. So we're on number four now, right? Yeah. Number four. All right. This is where I'm going to need some help. So number four, um, the Phantom Menace. Yes. The Phantom Menace is number four. Is that what you put too? This man's a menace. Is that what you put? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn you, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Love that movie. Phantom Menace. It was amazing. It's number four because, I mean, the m- was a long movie. I think it took too long to build up. Also, we only got 
We talked. A we lot got about. such a small portion of mall. Yeah. Like I mean, I know we get them in the um. Clone Wars. We get them in Clone Wars. In Rebels. In Rebels, but That's it would have been if not the same. We should have got him. At least he should have stayed alive for at least one more movie. Like he could have died in the second one. In yeah, because I could have done without Dooku. I mean, Dooku. Oh, for sure. Dooku's I mean, Saber's really cool. But I mean, I mean, Count Dooku though. I think I think he's I, Count Dooku's cool. I like Count Dooku. He had to he he had to be in the movie because he was an apprentice. He was a Jedi. He master. was a, yeah. He was a Jedi master. And who was who was under him? He defected. I don't know. He had to die though. Probably Mace. No, he was under Palpatine. Yeah, when he was when he was when he went yeah, but who and then he was Dooku training? Died. Who who who? Dooku was training. I don't know. He was trained by Yoda. And then Dooku died, and then who? And then then uh, Dooku was murdered. Yeah, he, uh, he <laughs> died. <laughs> he was slain. But who took his place? Grievous. Okay, Grievous died too, right? Yes. Then who took his place? Anakin. Bingo. I think Dooku was Grievous. Grievous was. Dooku's apprentice, right? Yes. Yeah, so there you go. It's number four. And I give that movie a four. What's your rating on that movie? <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, four stars as well. All right. What's your number four? Rogue One. Oh, <laughs> a little Rogue One. A little Rogue One. A little roguey for you one. I love that movie, man. Rogue One Kenobi. Vader Vader at the end of that movie. My he's God. the best part of the movie. Yeah. He's that that's that's why it's one of my favorite movies. Well, and then you know, the whole like K two SO, the droid. Yes. He was hilarious. K2SO. And then um Seeing how, like, the Death Star, like, how they told the story about, you know, like, oh, you think that the Empire would, like, build something yep. that, that was defected on purpose? No, it was put there by somebody who didn't want to be there, who f- was forced to build it. Yep. That's awesome. Because in, in New Hope, you hear about the brave soldiers that went and got the plans for the Death Star. It was these guys, which we're getting a show for, and or. Yep, and uh, which I'm really excited to see. Yeah, so that takes place before Rogue One. Yep, before they meet each other. Yes, it does. But that whole movie, like when they brought in, oh, bring in the hammer heart, uh, hammerhead Corvette, and freaking takes down, it jams itself into a into a star destroyer and like pushes it into the shield generator. Yeah, that was freaking cool. Oh yeah, that was cool. Rogue One, man. There's a lot to. There's not a lot to dislike. For a Star Wars movie that only has one lightsaber. In it, which was it was really which was Vader's, good, right? Yeah, which was Vader's. Yep. So there's not a lot to dislike. No, I don't even think there's anything I dislike about the movie. So I give there's that movie. I dislike about. I give that movie a five. I give that a four. And five and a half. savers. That's a four and a half. Five savers. Four and a half younglings out of five. <laughs> God, this guy with younglings, bro. He just man, I can't have my son around him. Zach, don't bring your son. Don't bring your kids up here around one. If you ever come here for an episode, <laughs> so. Number three for me. Attack of the Clones. Mm. Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. We've already talked about when it. I was a kid, I used to say Attack of the Cologne. Cologne. <laughs> oh, my. Ah, the scent. Well, she, if you're walking through Macy's. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, We've already talked about this. I said three and a half before, but I couldn't really agree with you. This is a four and a half for me. Yeah. Since we've already talked about it. But go ahead. What's your number three? Phantom Menace. <laughs> See, this is this is awesome, but this is not because we. <laughs> no matter what movie it is, we've already t- <laughs> like Marvel. We're like, oh, really? Okay, like we didn't really. It didn't really happen that much, but dang. Yeah. So Phantom Menacing, Darth Maul, man, Darth Maul. That's a four. Yeah, it's a four star. It's a four star movie. Um. So should I go to my number two? I guess. I mean, I love Darth Maul. I have his freaking saber here. He's. I don't know. Young Obi-Wan. I do agree with you, Zach. Maul was dumb. What they did with Maul or just Maul in general? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I shouldn't have said that. (laughs) Oh, man. I'm going to get canceled by Star Wars fans. 
was Maul dumb because of what they did with him? Are you just oh, saying? you're just saying he's a dumbass. Are you just saying he's a dummy? Please let me know, Zach. He said, "Ha ha." <laughs> do you, Do you understand what that language is? Uh, do you know how to read "ha ha"? No, I don't. The language of the laughter. So, is it because of what they did with him, or just you don't think he's you just think he's dumb? Just what they did with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. I, I the first time he lights up that saber, man. Oh my gosh, so iconic. Yeah, yeah I love the music. Oh yeah, we talked about that already. Like just, ah. I mean, I don't like Jar Jar, but I mean, it's, it's, he, he doesn't weigh down the movie as much as people say they do. He weighs down the Clone Wars a lot. No, he he yeah he does. Jar Jar, I, I feel like I didn't feel like they built him with what. No, they did not. He should have at least made it to Attack of the Clones. Yeah. And if he would have died at the end of Attack of the Clones, which is fine because or even halfway through it would have been fine. Because there was a lot of Jedi's died in Attack of the Clones. Yeah. I mean, and a lot of bad people died in that movie too. A lot of clones. Died. Yeah. The only one that well, I well, I mean, if even if he made it to like the the third movie, he, that would have been fine if he died. Like Dooku. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna just jump into number two. Rogue One. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five star movie for me already. Rogue One. My stream's ending in a little bit. That's fine. Know. I'm gonna just go live again. That's fine. You can go live. After that, um. Uh, so just discard Dooku. I guess I'm not gonna save it. Okay. Discard and then just go live again. Don't look at my list. I'm not looking at your list. It was on my. It was popping up over here. We only got one movie left. (laughs) Don't look at it. I'm not looking. So am I live? Oh, what the hell is that? No, you're not live. Yes, I am. Not right now. Oh my god! (laughs) This guy's over here saying some bad words in our podcast. Oh my god! I don't know what's going on. I'm a. You're not live. I know I'm not live, but Instagram's not letting me touch it. There you go. Nope. Oh, I guess. I'm Poke it. I'm poking it. Hold it. <laughs> what, what, is you, going- what do you bop it over there? <laughs> what is going on? I'm just gonna close it out. That's fine. <laughs> you're like bop it, twist it, hold it. Somebody sent the chat. I'll read it later. <laughs> so what's your number two? I swear, if it's. Man, it's Empire Strikes Back. Oh, okay. Mm, number one like, sounds interesting. Mm, number one. I think I've been dropping hits all over town. All I'm saying, <laughs> I think I have been too. No, you haven't. Um, nah, you just haven't caught them. <laughs> um, That's why I'm single. That may- <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not you're not good at picking up things. Nope. Oh well. Can't pick up hints. Can't pick up. <laughs> you can't pick up. <laughs> you did you just say? Can't pick up hints and can't pick up chicks. Yeah, there you oh go. my gosh. <laughs> it's gotta be a shirt. Can't pick up hints or chicks. That should be on the back. <laughs> so number two is Empire Strikes Back. I'm probably gonna watch it when I get home. Tonight? Yeah. Are you off tomorrow? I'm on vacation. <laughs> you're just staying <laughs> home? I well no, I went to Galaxy's Edge. No, but tomorrow you're weekend. off though? Yeah, I'm off tomorrow. I'm I'm well I'm gonna be editing the podcast and then okay. I'm rearranging the house. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I have some time to hang out tomorrow too if you want to. Um we're number one now, right? Yeah, New Hope, man. Uh number one. Four stars. I mean New Hope. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. No, Empire Strikes Back is number two. Number yeah, that's four stars. I say four stars. Yeah. So there's only one I'm just gonna say this. There's only one movie. Yoda. What? Yoda's the best. Yoda's awesome, man, in that movie. And Empire Strikes Back. I know, no, I'm saying, but there's only one movie besides. There's only two movies left, actually. All right. <laughs> you want? You should go three, two, one, and say it at the same time. Because I feel like it's gonna be the same for both of us. If it's not, I swear to God, bro. All right, ready? Wait. Did you say? I haven't said it yet. Okay, ready? Ready? Three, three two, two, one. one. Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Sith. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, if you were going to pick the other movie. Which one? Which would be what? Which would be Rise. No, you already. You it's didn't, not on my list. Oh, that's right. It's not on your list. Return of the Jedi is not on mine. Yeah. Ha! Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Kills babies. Best Star Wars movie of all time. I don't care. I have the song stuck in my head right now when he's walking up to the temple going yes. to kill those kids. Yes. Puppet Master, right? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Rest in peace, Eddie Munson. 
Zach said I said that too. Oh my gosh. Show it to the audience though. It's Young and Slayer 3000. It's over here. Juan killed many. Hold it up. Hold it so they can see the hilt. Juan killed many children with Whoa. this. There you go, sir. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> I mean, bro. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on YouTube where people may not know about Star Wars. It's just a joke. My name's Christopher Walkins. Yep. But yes, Revenge of the Sith. That is a five out of five stars. Sabres. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nothing is wrong with that movie. If you think otherwise, you can reach me in my DMs and I will just block you. The Jedi, the Jedi did so wrong by Anakin in that movie. <sighs> they but give they him a seat on the console, but they don't rank him as master. N well, he and then he and then he can't. He has to be in secret about Padme. Well, why would why 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 couldn't he be a master? I don't, I, I don't know. You need an apprentice to be a master. No, you don't. No, you don't. He had well, an apprentice. Yeah. He had Ahsoka in the Clone Wars. That's true. Well, yeah, that's true. That is true. You're right. Which is weird because, like, to be a master, then you get an uh, apprentice, like you said. But he said, they said, yeah, you're on the council, but you're not a master. Right. So basically, he he's on the council. He just has to keep his mouth shut during the meeting. Well, a lot of that, I really feel like, well, like Zach said, his emotions. Yeah. And I also. Uh, this is why I love Mace Windu so much. He 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 knew that something was wrong. He couldn't that Anakin couldn't be trusted. He was always second guessing Anakin for a reason. Yeah. But I mean like the dude's emotional because he's a he one he got taken from his mom. He wanted to go. Yep. Say what you will about that. Second he told the Jedi Council that his mom is still a slave and that she's dying. And they said that he couldn't go and... <laughs> yes, Zach, I agree. His, he's emotional, but he could not harness it. No, and then also, like... That's true. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, like... You can see me in the shot, right? Yeah. But then, I hope so. listen, like, also, like, he has to keep his love for Padme a secret, right? Yeah. He he has to keep his twins a secret. I mean, but that it all comes with it though. That you know what I'm saying? Like if you really want to be on the council, if you want to be a Jedi master, you have to do all those things. Like you have to kind of you can't be that it, it's like it's like being a monk. Like you're giving your whole yeah, life but you away. You know that when you go in. You don't you know that when you become a monk, when you become a Jedi, that's not I mean that's kind of explained to him a little bit in Phantom Menace. But I mean, I, but you, he could just see though. Yeah, I how, mean, how but, they but he's a kid. He's probably thinking like, "Oh, they have like Jedi moms and Jedi dads." And they exactly, had a Jedi Zach kid. said, "Did it to himself," and that's. I honestly well, yeah. think that's that's true. He did do it to himself, and I really think that he was manipulated a lot by Palpatine. Oh my gosh, so manipulated, bro! So manipulated by Palpatine. But I mean, it. I mean, you saw it in Obi Wan. It showed that clip of him and Anakin training. Yeah, he, and and he he's like he's like back. you're allowing your anger. Yeah, like it's no, I'm not I'm not disagreeing that he you know he couldn't control his anger. I'm Had the forbidden fruit in the world promised to him, Anakin always gives into his temptation. Yeah, yeah, he that's really he, true. I mean, if you watch the Clone Wars, he always does his own thing, and he, his anger gets the best of him. But I mean, still like I mean, that's why he a Jedi could have been more understanding. Maybe give him rank his master. I don't know. Next thing you know, the window blows and he becomes Darth. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah. Everything just implodes all at once. Yeah, I mean, he was, I mean, Qui-Gon Jinn said, you know, he's never seen so much. Like, when he read, when he did the that test on him. Yeah, he didn't see, he's never seen that much before. I think Qui-Gon Jinn knew from the jump that this kid's not going to be good. I think. But Here's the thing. I feel like if Qui Gon Jinn would have trained him instead of Obi Wan, <coughs> I know like he he went to the console and he wanted Obi Wan to train him. Like he that's what he begged and pleaded for. But like let's say Qui Gon Jinn was in Obi Wan's shoes and Obi Wan was the one training Qui Gon Jinn. Yeah. And Qui Gon Jinn would have trained Obi Wan. Uh, Anakin. I feel like Anakin would have been 
better yeah, off. Because for sure. He, because Obi Wan, he said, "I loved you, like a brother." Right? He said that like Jedi's aren't supposed to love, and who's Obi Wan doing it to him? Well, I think that's why it was so hard for Obi Wan, right, to train him and for him to kind of show him the Jedi way, right? Because I mean, he he ended up like, man, like. Here's this kid that they take right mm-hmm. from this planet, and now he's now he's training him, and and the guy that he's his mentor died is dead. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, now he has to train this kid, and he's not done training himself. I mean, but I but didn't Yoda say something about Anakin though? Like he said he's too old. Not too old, but like didn't he say something like um that you know that something is. That there's like a disturbance, he like he just, he just doesn't, he, you know, he he doesn't see him as like, yeah, I, I swear Yoda said something. No, well, he goes to Yoda after he has the the visions of seeing Padme die in childbirth. He goes to Yoda and he says, I've been having premonitions. And then he goes, premonitions, you say? He goes, this of someone you love? And he says, possibly. And he says, premonitions leads to fear and fear leads to anger and anger leads to the dark side. Yeah, also, Zach just made a point. He said Yoda did. He didn't see it within him. Yeah. So, so it's, I, I really, I, I believe, and I'm going to stick with this theory. Um, I think Qui-Gon Jinn knew, because Qui-Gon Jinn was. He was very wise. He, he was elite he as far that. as, like, Jedi Masters. Like, he was kind of like a rebel in his own eye, in his own way. Yeah. He didn't agree with everything that they did. You know, he, he kind of had, like, that, no, like, I'm going to do what's right kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I think Qui Gon knew from the beginning. No, this kid's gonna. He's not gonna stay good. He's, he's something's gonna happen. He's gonna balance be balance to the force. Whether that balance is the Sith coming back, which they've always been there, they never left. They're just in hiding. Well, I mean, it kind of explains it in Obi Wan as well in the show. You know, the the Empire comes back. Like they've been there. The Sith rose, and in, in Mandalorian, the Empire comes back. So it's like I I think you know, him becoming Darth Vader brought balance, as a way of like the Sith coming back, everything coming because there has to be good and evil. It can't be over too much good. But it can't be too much evil. Either. Yeah, exactly. If there's too much good, then it's like, what's yeah. the point of having Jedi now to protect plus, people? Plus, the Jedi were getting in the these wars and messes that they didn't need to get into. It's really that's another good theory, Obi. Zach said Obi knew too. That's why he shielded him. He shielded him so much. Anakin. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Something special about Anakin, like, but he had so much in him. Yeah. <laughs> he said, let's talk about the final fight and Obi with Vader. We talked about that earlier in the beginning. We can talk about the final fight on, uh, uh, was it Mustafar? Oh, we can talk about and the Obi final Wan fight in uh, in Revenge of the Sith. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, bro, that guy. Oh my gosh, he said, "I loved you." He's like, "You were the chosen one." Like, yeah. I loved you, and and then you could see that there was so much good and evil in that scene. He's literally, "Don't do it, Anakin. I have the high ground." Yeah, and he still does it, cuts him in half, and Anakin looking so like evil. He's like, "I hate you." Bro, like, I don't know how he could just tell Obi Wan, "I hate you." Like His emotions, man. My goodness, bro. Like, and then he's like, "You turned Padme against me." Like, and all this stuff. Like, I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, bro." When I'm not gonna lie, when Padme said, "Anakin, you're hurting me. You're breaking my heart." Literally, bro. Like, that's when it brought their relationship. That was like the prime. That that plot. Oh my gosh, I just can't, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that. Revenge of the Sith, five out of five sabers. Five out of five young ones. Yeah. It was really, it was amazing. I just, I thought that f- that was probably one of the best fight, like the scenes out of like the original series of the movies. That movie was the best out of the, the three, the final three, in my opinion. The, the, oh, the yeah, bro. The, final three. the three prequels. Oh, yeah. The, it, it's, that's why it's number one on our list. <laughs> For a reason, yeah. Like, it, it's, 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 a, it's the most memorable. It's the most talked about. I mean, it's. There's not a lot to dislike. The first Star Wars movie I saw in the theaters. 
Nah, first Star Wars movie. You want to know what first Star Wars movie I saw in the theaters? What was that? It's Force Awakens. Really? Never saw the other ones in the theaters. All on, we had the, the on, uh, on a, what the heck, I don't even remember what they're called. VHS? Yeah, VHS. <laughs> That's the first time I watched them, you know? I mean, and then get, when you get older, they obviously had like the DVDs. Yeah. You can go to Blockbuster. <sighs> Man, I used to go all the time and rent the yes. original three trilogies Uh huh. on VHS. Or rewatch them all the time. Rewatch them. They never got old to me. Never. But yeah, I... <sighs> It's crazy. I mean, you. I, I like. I enjoyed though. I enjoyed the prequels because you can see Anakin as an innocent child, and then him, teenager, kind of getting older, and then you could slowly start to see She's the evil anger. come out. She's anger in 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 Attack of the Clones when he kills all the, when he kills yeah. when he kills the Sand People. Yeah, but you could see all the anger coming out, like in the evil when he was like telling Palpatine. She goes when they were talking about politics. She's like, he's like. Well, we'll make them. And Padme, yeah, that's the second one. When he's like, "Yeah, we'll we'll make them follow," like yeah, the, the law. which like, is that's literally the empire. He's like, "We'll make them." We'll that's like the way of the them. empire. Yeah, that's how. So the it's like, is. oh. And then you got that guy in Obi Wan who's like, "Oh yeah, nothing wrong with a little order," you know, like. Oh, the guy driving the the little bus. The yeah, when when the em- that I thought that was the beginning of the empire, when they were good. You know, they protected people. Good. I mean, yeah. Oh, man. So much to talk about. But a lot. we're about, we're an hour and 11 minutes in. It's all right. It's all right. Um, Grievous. General Grievous. General Grievous. I feel like General Grievous with all the sabers I have. <laughs> <laughs> just, all, all his arms and everything and just forearms. spinning around. Look at this shirt, though. That's a nice I just shirt. got it today. It was delivered to my house. Yeah. It's called Juan Prime. Cheaper than Amazon Prime. It was in a Target bag, too. Not from Target. I love those Target bags. Nice and healthy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's our top ten. It's our top ten. We had a lot of the same. <laughs> a lot there's, of the same or, there's or only 11 or there's close. only 11 movies yeah they need to step it up because Marvel's only got will. Marvel's will. got so much I fi- I'm gonna be honest with y'all um oh Marcus you just joined wow Marcus joined right at the end Marcus but um well Marcus is a he's a loyal I feel like I might have been out of the frame the whole time no you're not camera's looking right at you Marcus is a loyal uh, supporter of the channel. Oh, welcome, Marcus. Yes. We're about to end it, but... Oh, yes. Marcus, by the way, I will tell you right now. Um, I got our two favorite um, superheroes. One said Spider-Man, and mine's a toss-up. Well, for MCU. Yeah, 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 for MCU. That, that's what that's what it, he asked me. It changes. Yeah, for MCU, your yeah, favorite it, one. It changes. Spider-Man or Thor. That's what I prefer. Just pick one. Spider-Man. Spider Man, and for me, it's right. For me, it's uh, it's either yeah, you know what, Captain America. There you go. I got the shield right there, but um, but yeah, that was our top ten favorite Star Wars films. When it comes out, you guys uh, definitely go to YouTube, hit the subscribe show notification, love. show some loves. Please like and comment on the videos. And share. And share, you know, the more people that see it, the more, the more likes, the more comments we get, the more people, um, will will get to see these videos. But starting next week, well, She Hulk comes out tomorrow, and from the trailer, not tomorrow, yeah, Thursday, tomorrow's tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. No, <laughs> it comes out on Thursday, um, which I'm off the next two days, so it's cool. So that's good. That's I can um. I'm going to watch it Thursday, and then next week, we will be uh, reviewing the first episode, and then until that epi- the, the season's done, we're pretty much going to just cover that. Yeah, it's pretty much just She-Hulk. Yeah, I mean, and then, but after that, though, that kicks off a lot of other stuff for Marvel, so we'll pretty much be covering lots of stuff. We'll be marveled up. We'll be all marveled up over here. 
But I mean, we'll, we'll obviously. So um, you sh- you're watching Miss Marvel, right? Yeah. Uh, I've finished it already, but after the first episode, <laughs> so we go right back to Marvel. <laughs> after the first episode of She Hulk, you know, we can talk about it on the on the cast. Yeah. But then you know we can also talk about Miss Marvel. Oh yeah, for sure. She should be done by now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm finished with uh, I just finished the second episode. There's only, um, there's only six episodes with your time limit. Yeah, no, I'm good though. But uh, yeah, I just I finished the f- second episode, which I think it's great. Um, hmm, interesting. It definitely starts off strong. Yeah, the first episode was good. Uh, second episode is obviously better. Um, but that's when I texted you. Oh man, are they connected? Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's her uh, favorite. It's her favorite Marvel character. Marvel Marvel superhero. Well, I can't. I'm looking forward to watching the rest tomorrow. But um, oh, Zach said one more dad joke. Um, what do you get? What do you, what do you call? It should be good. Now the connection should be good. What do you get when you, okay. So what do you get when you, no, what the, oh oh my God. Uh, What do you call a bounty hunter, a bounty hunter? That loves. What? Dang it! Ah, <laughs> oh, my gosh! I'm trying to. I don't want to butcher this. What do you call a bounty hunter? That loves tropical fruit. A bounty hunter that loves tropical fruit. Yes. A bounty a hunter pink. that loves tropical fruit. Uh, a Puerto Rican. What the <laughs> heck is that? Come on, bro. I don't know. No, mango fat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. A hey, uh, episode will be dropping tomorrow on YouTube. So we'll be sharing all that. Please share, like, subscribe, comment. Other than that, guys, that is Let's Be Real Reviews with Tyler and Juan. All right. We Please appreciate go. you guys tuning in on live, and we appreciate everybody that will view this oh, video. Come shut off. Okay, so but please <laughs> go and like, subscribe, share as we said throughout the video. Yes. Um, comment, like it, smash that red subscribe button, all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. Do the dang thing, and remember, stay classy. And that's it. And good night. Have a...